Congratulations, you are the luckiest person today to watch this video. In this video, I will share with you how I created an extremely simple induction cooker. Please watch this video until the end to see what I did to create it. I used a large round magnet, then used 3mm diameter wire to wrap around it. I used specialized glue to fix one end of the wire to the surface of the magnet. Then wrap the remaining end of the wire around the magnet in an order with equal distances. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. Once finished, I will secure the remaining end of the wire to the magnet with special glue. Next, I used a piece of wood to make a base for the induction cooker. I will use special glue to attach the magnet to the surface of the wooden base. Note, please attach the magnet to one side of the wooden base. Next, I used one stator coil of fan motor. I will fix the stator coil on the wooden base. I will be upgrading this stator coil to a booster for my induction cooker. Next, I will use a high performance capacitor. I will smear some glue on the capacitor face to mount it on the wooden base. Next, I mounted a battery tray onto the wooden base. I will use an additional resistor chip. Next, use a soldering iron to attach the chip to the two terminals of the capacitor. Next, we will connect the wires to their correct positions. One end of the battery tray I connect to one leg of the capacitor. One leg of the capacitor I connect to the input of the stator coil. Connect one more leg of the capacitor to the input of the stator coil. Please subscribe, like, and comment below the video. Thank you very much. Now I will connect the two output wires of the stator coil to the two wires of the magnet. After connecting, use electrical tape to wrap the connection tightly. Next, I used a switch to turn the power on and off for the induction cooker. I connect one leg of the switch to the battery tray, the other leg to a capacitor. Finally, I used special glue to attach the switch to the wooden base.
I will use three long screws to screw into the wooden base in a triangle around the magnet to make the base. Note, the top of the tube will be 10 millimeters higher than the magnet. So we have completed the extremely simple induction cooker. I will install three lithium batteries in the stove to use it. Next I used a stainless steel pot, then I poured some water into the pot. Next, we will turn on the switch to make the stove work. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. After a while, steam started to rise, the water was hot. So the stove boiled the water in the pot, I was successful with the stove I just created. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.